Two days after a plow through slush across the Ohio Turnpike causing crashes and damaging more than 40 vehicles. Drivers are still trying to get their cars and their trucks fixed. And it, was, it was definitely heavy snow. It was not powder. It was, it was chunks and it, it did immediate damage. Now this all happened near Sandusky Sunday. We first showed you this video Sunday night. 12 people injured. Tonight News 5's Clay Lepard talks to more of the drivers literally impacted by the slush and some who found themselves spending some extra time in Ohio. Cell phone video captures the moment Bryson Regner and Rachel Jones pulled over on the side of the Ohio Turnpike Sunday. We were covered in glass and I mean, you know, your first instinct is to slam in the brakes and, you know, you're on the highway and, you know, we got lucky that we didn't get hit from behind. This is what was left of their windshield after investigators say an Ohio Turnpike snowplow truck pushed slush across the median Sunday afternoon, damaging at least 40 cars and trucks. We caught up with the two as they picked up their car with a brand new windshield. The start of their trip back home to Michigan about two days later than they planned drive back home and kind of get it expect inspected at a local shop there that we know and be able to kind of deal with it from the comfort of our own bed instead of a hotel room. Just one of the many impacted trying to sort out what's next as far as insurance working with the turnpike. I think it's going to take quite a while to, you know, figure out, you know, the, the logistics of it all. We reached out to the turnpike commission, which said it has reached out to every car and truck owner that filed a report with the Ohio State Highway Patrol. That being said, if you have not received a call, you might need to fill out a report with the Ohio State Highway Patrol. Linda Rust already spoke to the Turnpike about her Chevy Malibu and her experience. It was just crazy. I thought I was dead. She says she spent three hours in her car after the crash, only to be dropped off at a nearby McDonald's and told to find a ride home from Erie County to Youngstown think that that people should be treated with a little bit more respect. She hopes what comes next will be a little less stressful. This is not our fault. This was I mean, I shouldn't be taking a day off work to come get my car. You know, I mean, they should have offered anything. They didn't offer anything. Along the Ohio Turnpike. Clay Lepard, News 5.